This week in our Hidden Places series, we go to Indianapolis and with Halloween. In a lot of people's minds, the exploration of this hidden place certainly seems fitting. Catacombs are large underground systems traditionally used to bury the dead. They're most commonly found in Paris or Rome, where millions of people are buried. But these elaborate underground systems can be found around the world. My colleague Sarah Whitmire joins us now for the latest in our Hidden Places series. Sarah, catacombs here in Indiana? Hard to believe, right, uh. Joe? But yes, thousands of people visit Indianapolis's city market each day. But I wonder how many know exactly what is below their feet. Monday through Friday, around noon especially, the city market is a popular gathering place. People take their lunch breaks and walk here for a slice of pizza or sandwich. Some sit outside if it's nice and eat at one of the tables. Hundreds of thousands of people have sat on this plaza, listened to live music, maybe enjoyed some lunch and some great conversation and have never known what's sitting below them. The entrance to the catacombs is hidden from public view and there's no outside entrance. You go in through these doors and eventually a set of stairs leads down to the basement. Quickly, the concrete floors are replaced by dirt. More than 140 columns create an underground maze. This is unbelievable. It just keeps going. This space is actually the basement of Tomlinson Hall, a four-story multi-use building constructed in the 1880s. For sporting events, uh, for it was it was like kind of having your convention center with Lucas Oil, with the Field House, with the, you know Circle Center Theater. Uh, everything went on. It was a heavy building constructed out of brick and Indiana limestone. And, and the, the, this is the reason why there's so many columns is what that does is it brings all the weight down from the building and it distributes oh. it throughout all these columns. The curved ceilings are called barrel vault ceilings and they help distribute the building's weight to the columns. As you walk further into the tangle of columns, you can't help but think about Indiana Jones. The catacombs he explored were beneath the streets in Venice. What's this one? But here in the catacombs, you won't find tombs or skulls. From my experiences, yes, this is not what they're quite like in Europe. Besides a stray chair, you won't find much at all. For the most part, it was used for storage. They've just been always referenced to as the catacombs, um, which, you know, it just is the subterranean level or the basement of what was once Tomlinson Hall. So the catacombs are essentially just that, a basement. At least once, they were open to the homeless who were seeking shelter during a particularly cold winter in the early 1900s. And at one point, they were also used as a staging area for people to get food and clothing after a devastating flood in 1913. But no dead bodies that we've found so far. The catacombs are dark, it's damp, and it smells musty. Lake jokes about not finding any dead bodies in the catacombs, but that hasn't stopped paranormal investigators from wanting to visit the site to go ghost hunting. I just want to try to talk in a way that we might be able to hear your voice. If the answer is yes, turn on one of those lights for us. Thank you. Thanks for turning that on. So you haven't moved the chair since then? If we do have to move them for an event, they come right back. I'm not messing. I'm not messing. You don't touch the chairs. Yeah. Multiple ghost hunters have stayed overnight in the catacombs, and their conclusion is there's nothing bad or evil in the catacombs, and it's, generally speaking, a calm place. So I believe in nothing, ever, nothing. But I've seen enough and heard enough down here that I'm like, there might be something to this. I took you know, a picture of a tour so. group down here one time. They're like, hey, see if you take a picture of us. I'm like, yeah, all right, grab the camera. The minute I clicked, I don't know what it was. I have no idea what it was. It was this white thing that came up straight up. And I caught it in the frame, and I'm like, you guys, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Tomlinson Hall burnt down in 1958. Why the catacombs weren't just filled in after the fire is a mystery. A lot of times when there is a building that's being torn down, it has a, a lower level, they'll just infill um, with the materials on top. They didn't in this case. Um, maybe one of the reasons is because of the way it was built. It was built so structurally sound that maybe it cost more to, you know, demolish and get into that basement area. So I guess we're lucky that they did leave a space like this. 
and stays is organizing an event in the catacombs on Halloween. You know, the city market opened the catacombs up for tours during the Super Bowl. They'd been closed off prior to that. The tours were so popular, though, that they continued offering them every other Saturday during the summer months. They do some other events in the catacombs, too, some movie nights, think Fight Club and, of course, Indiana Jones. They also host a prohibition party in December. But to get the catacombs up to code would cost millions of dollars. So at least for now, any development plans for the catacombs stays said are on the back burner. Jim. All right. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you.